Hello everyone. Let's get started with the Arduino programming course. As said before, we are going to study about Arduino board in this course and how to write down programs for it. But before that, we need to understand why we use these Arduino boards at all. See, whenever we have to develop any kind of an electronic system or an electronic project, you might have ever thought of developing some kind of project for your home or some hobby assignment or some school project or for your college project. Whenever we have to develop any kind of an electronic project, there are two ways to do that project. One is directly make use of some basic electronic components and digital components and create your system. Second way is to use a microcontroller based system. Generally, these microcontroller based systems are easier to build because they are programmable. We also call them as an embedded system. An embedded system consists of a microcontroller and some input and output devices. We need to program this microcontroller in order to use this embedded system. Typically, embedded system programming is only limited to the electronics engineering students. What happens is, a microcontroller study involves the study of architecture, instruction set and lot of pinouts and many complications in a microcontroller. These subjects are usually the microprocessor subjects involved in the academics. What happens is, studying these instruction sets and architecture is quite tedious. It's very difficult to remember those things and that is the reason many of the electronic studying people itself are not much interested into embedded system programming. As I said, because of these reasons, many electronic students find it difficult to start programming with microcontrollers. This is a very common difficulty and to address this difficulty, these Arduino boards were developed. How? Let's take a little bit background of this Arduino boards. There was a very fine teacher in Italy, we all call him as Massimo Banzi. He had a student of his own for a PhD project. So his project was to create a board, a microcontroller based board and an IDE for that microcontroller. So that anyone without having any programming or electronic knowledge should be able to program it. The project was completed, the name of the project was Wiring. His PhD student went away to his home, he was a US based uh, citizen, so he went home. Next, Massimo Banzi thought that it's a great thing. Wiring was a great project. It just needed a simple wiring mechanism to understand the microcontroller programming. So Massimo Banzi along with his few friends took this project onwards and he called it as Arduino. Arduino consists of a microcontroller based board and an accompanying software. A software means an integrated development environment where we can write down the programs for micro uh, Arduino. The most important thing of Arduino is we don't need to study the architecture of this IC or the microcontroller. We also don't need to study the instruction set. We also don't need to even remember the pinout of it. The Arduino is developed in such a way that anyone can immediately start using it. Basically the Arduino board doesn't have anything except a USB interface, a microcontroller IC and simple input output port pins. But the programming has been made so simple that you just have to read the pin numbers on this board and you can directly start programming this board. There are numerous types of Arduinos available. The first thing that we are going to do is to study about these Arduino boards to see what are the different Arduino boards which are available. Then we will also see how easier it is to program the Arduino and then we will start with the block based programming. Have fun.